Hi all, Dave W02X. Just want to show you what I've been doing with the Yellowcraft K4D and the Stream Deck, um, along with uh, the rest of the equipment I have here. Um, what I've been doing is interfacing the K4D uh, to my Node Red uh, server, and Node Red runs on Raspberry Pi and gives you a dashboard here where I started building up the uh, K4D. Uh, showing the frequency, uh, you could go ahead and select uh, the mode, uh, you could select the band, uh, you can change the power out. I still have a lot more to add to it. Uh, then I have it interfaced uh, through the Node-RED server. Uh, the K4D talks to Node-RED through the Ethernet port. And then from the Ethernet port, uh, the Node-RED server gets the information from the radio and sends it out to serial to USB cables. Uh, to both the amplifier and the tuner to send cat information uh, so I'm not tying up cat ports for other things and uh, it also sends uh, API commands to my antenna switch um, you know programming commands in the uh, language that the antenna switch uses so it sets the antenna per band uh, the stream deck is uh, interfaced into my node red server and it's a 32 button LCD backlit um, uh, device and you can program images on the back of each of these buttons as you can see and what I've done with the K4D is I have a K4D button which brings up um, submenus uh, below it is a combination uh, frequency and also S meter uh, so I can see uh, just a quick glance of the frequency I'm on and below that is a filter button. Uh, if you see I'm at 50 to 3500 right now with the filter bandwidth on receive. And um, I have other buttons here. Uh, my tuner, I can put the tuner between standby and operate. Uh, same thing with the amplifier, operate and standby. I can initiate a tune cycle on the tuner. Uh, the tuner right now is uh, connected to radio number one. Of It's an SO2R tuner. This button here uh, shows me my azimuth of the rotor currently where it's at, um, sitting at 49 degrees. If I hit the uh, 160 Caribbean button, for example, you'll see it's going to go around uh, because my uh, rotor goes from 0 to 360 and then plus 90. So now it's got to go all the way around to uh, 160. And so uh, that'll actually show me the actual heading uh, that I'm at at this point. Uh, I have pre-programmed buttons for different uh, directions of my antenna uh, to make it fast, uh, or I can manually set it or contract my logging program. Uh, the FT8 button uh, brings up an FT8 menu with all the common FT8 frequencies, and it will set the radio to uh, DigiU uh, and also uh, uh, set it to the FT8 frequencies. Uh, right now, um, Radio 1, which is the flex radio, is sitting on my Yagi, uh, and Antenna 2, uh, Antenna B rather, is the G5RV, which I'm on 40 meters with the, uh, the K4D. To the right of that, I have AC outlet control. I can turn outlets on and off. So getting to the K4D, um, when I hit the button, it brings up a submenu. Again, I have my combination S meter and uh, frequency button and uh, kind of matches the uh, S meter here on the radio. And uh, the filter button shows a common filter, the, the cur current filter. Uh, I have pre-programmed filter buttons here, as you can see that I've made. Uh, I can hit 2.7 and it changes it to 300, uh, 200 to 2900, which I like. Uh, 2.4 will go 300 to um, uh, 2700. Uh, 2.1, I have it set to go 300 to 2400. 4.0 goes from uh, 0 to 4000 uh, if I'm running ESSB on receive. Uh, for CW mode, if I put the uh, radio to CW, uh, when I'm in CW mode, it'll show you uh, uh, based on 600 hertz where I have my, uh, my pitch set to, um, you got a 50 hertz button. Uh, you got a, a 200, a 100, 200, 400, 800. So it's a way to have uh, more than three filters set up. You can customize these to whatever filter you want. 
Uh, I also have a noise blanker, noise reduction, and notch filters, which turn those functions on. So right now the noise blanker is not on. And if I hit the noise blanker button, uh, it will turn on the noise blanker on the radio. So I'm on CW, so there it is. Anyway, uh, same thing with the noise reduction. It'll turn the noise reduction on or off or the automatic notch filter. I still have uh, a lot more buttons to add. Uh, these are all programmable, whatever you want. And you can make custom icons for the buttons itself. Uh, preamp off, preamp one, two, or three. Uh, band in mode brings up another menu where I have all my bands set up uh, to access the bands quickly. And um, again, all the modes of the radio are set up. So this is a work in progress and it's just a quick way uh, this in the normal operating will be sitting next to my mouse as I'm operating in a contest or something or chasing DX and just a quick easy way to uh, control all the equipment including the K4D and again um, the Node-RED server is talking to the K4 through the Ethernet port on the back of the radio.